Hey, uh, fella vapors all over the world. Uh, Joe the Village Vapor coming at you from Ireland. And uh, today you're going to have a look at this, the Azeroth RDA by Coil Art. And I've had this a good while. i have a look round uh, the box. And I think this is this is quite an old one. It says Azeroth, uh, Coil Art, Discover Your Flavour. This one is uh, it's metal. Should yeah, silver. Sorry, silver. Twenty. It's a twenty-four mil atomizer. Got a bit of uh media stuff going on there. YouTube and that. Oh, and uh, contents, which isn't much. Uh, Azeroth RDA in an accessories bag. You've a kind of scratch and sniff sticker there. And your barcode and uh yeah designed in uh, coil art in california i so it's probably it's made in china um so anyway take a look inside the box and at least it, you can tell it's old because there's no nicotine warning but anyway here we have another box coil art have a look round. it's pretty same nice box though Nice box, bit oily, sorry about that, bit oily, but we're going to shake that open. And then you get this big coil art thing, it shows you all the builds you can do on it as well. Yeah, Come on, focus, you see, single build, dual build and triple build. And this is what we're going to do today, is a triple build, because it, it, obviously it's a triple RDA, so... I'm just looking for me at his stand. I don't know what I've done with it. Um. Anyway, pull the. I've just washed this. Yeah, it came with a little try tool. It did come with some goodies, but I um I don't you know I've had it a couple of years, so you know it come came with a a few spare, couple of spare caps. You know it came with a uh. Five ten, uh, eight ten adapter as well somewhere. I, I I don't know where that is either. Actually, it's in. I have it somewhere, but um yeah, the screws. It comes with a squonking pin as well. If you can see in there, a couple of squonking pins always keep me bits and bobs together. See if you squonk pin, which I'm not going to use, and a couple of post screws, which are. Which is pretty odd because they're actually Allen drive on the... Oh, that's a flathead post. I must just check that, actually. Um, the, are they Allen heads or... No, the spare screw, grub screws are actually Phillips head, whereas... Uh, oh, excuse my fingers as well. look filthy. Do you know what it was? It's all the rust. I had to replace an old uh, nut on a... A toilet seat at home yesterday, and no matter how many times I washed my hands and scrubbed them, it's a mixture of WD-40 and dust, so excuse that, I sterilise them and everything, can't get rid of it. Anyway, enough toilet talk. Um, where's my vape stand? Ah, uh, here it is, me trusty little, uh, I actually did use to use as me little vapor storm, but it's dead now, the USB is buggered on it, and so anyway, you're going to screw on the coil art, and have a nice little look at the outside, like it said, it's, a, it's um, what is it again, 24 or 22 mil, I have to get some calipers, you know, be a bit more professional. Uh, yeah, it was 20, 24 mil. What, well, yeah, 24 mil. So, have a look up at that. You can see coil art, nice and shiny. Obviously, it's old, three big air holes, which you can you can shut them down. You can't really see, you know, you, you, you very hard to see, but what's going on there. But anyway, take the cap off. And da da, look at that. It's a pretty mad deck, isn't it? Uh, so your gold is going to be your positive, and your black is going to be your negative. And just take it off here so you can see the 510. It's nice threading on it. 
The screws are nice as well. So you've on the bottom there. Your vas are off. Designed by Coil Art. Don't put it in your... Don't be hiding in your bin, vaping. And yeah, you've got a nice... I have no problem putting this on a Mac mod. The 510 is nice and protruding. But just beware, whatever build you put on it could be quite a low, low build with the three coils, you know. But what I'm hoping to do is do a build on this. But the only wire, I did have some wire ordered, but it hasn't come yet. Just some normal twit, and I've no coils left, or I have a, some coils left, but I don't really want to use them on this. So I've cut three bits of three bits of uh, alien. I'll show you what I'm using. I only had a small bit left, so hopefully I have enough here. Some demon killer, demon killer, good stuff, good uh, oil, and this is actually. Oh, it doesn't bloody well say it on it, does it? It's some kind of alien wire. Uh, yeah, alien wire. Uh, 30 0.8 wrapped in a 32 gauge. So it's a, it's a triple, triple core alien, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, try and make four coils out of these three lengths, which is it's flat wire, so it shouldn't be too bad, maybe. And I'm going to use this little coil jig here, so gonna it's going to be awkward, though. Uh, one, I want four wraps at least per each coil, so that's one, two... It's quite easy to work with this four, and we both we want it, you know, coming the same way. It's a drop in deck, which is handy, especially when you. So four, it's quite tough this wire, so you've got to give it a real good, good bend, straighten this up a bit, and get it over there a bit. That's not too bad actually. We can maybe sort it out a little bit press it up there that's not too bad actually that's four wraps so i think we'll go with four wraps yeah i had plenty of wire actually i don't know what i was worrying for needing a bean so just put that on now i'm gonna give it a little pull with the pliers i've some pliers here anyway i hope you're all doing well whatever part of the world you're in and i'm gonna yeah i'm just gonna give this a pull with the wires with the pliers now that's tidy it up a bit that's a bit better isn't it now so that's one coil it's not the prettiest but oh yeah it will do one coil come on focus focus oh uh, anyway let's do another one so that's four wraps yeah get another one on the go here uh so you want a you know a good bit to get a hold of a grip of starter off so that's one wrap so it's kind of wanting to go off to the left two wraps like i said it is tough wire three wraps and four wraps so that's another coil nearly made just twist that right round there like i said it's a drop in so they only have to be vertical you know give it another little pull with the pliers i think you see coil making you can use i'll have to do a video and show you how to build with a, a coil jig you know that would be nice for any newbies there's my other coil there, I'll have to cut it down. It's not going to get a good old focus on it, is it? Yeah, that's a bit better, actually. Yeah, anyway, make it, that's two. So, we want another one with four wraps on. Da, da, da. Uh, just get it started. So, that's one wrap. Two wraps. Three wraps. Actually, it is handy that this is flat. 
four wraps. It's still tough though, it doesn't look like it, but I'm actually putting quite a bit of force with my fingers. I'm just gonna bend it a bit so it stays into position. Give this another little pull with the, I don't, know, I don't even think I have to actually mess around with this. Uh, so yeah, that's good. That's uh, so that's put that to the side for a minute. So that's one, two, three. Yeah, three calls I have made. They're just gonna cut them to size now. Don't want them. The legs don't have to be too long, as you can see. Drop in, but you know you don't want no part of the leg, obviously, touching the the bottom. The bottom, so we've plenty of room to work in. There's a, it's a nice juice deep. Well, I'd say it's about six, seven mils. So, cut these legs and see where we're at. It's been a long time since I've had this uh, Azeroth out, so it should be interesting to have a vape on it. You know, I like getting some of my old uh, stuff out now, and it's great to be able to get it. Where's my bloody snips to get it out and show it to? Show it to a few people, you know. I think it should be safe snipping around. Yeah, about the snip. Let's make that a bit shorter. Always put your finger on when you're snipping as well so that wire doesn't fly off because it's bloody sharp stuff, this. I'm just going to drop that in and test it. It's probably too long, I'd say. Drop it in and test it. Um, yeah, that's way too long, so it can take another few mils definitely off this. Don't take too much off, though. Come on, cut. Been a bit awkward, that is now. It's kind of hard wire to cut this. That's better. 32 wants to stay put. Oh, that's better. The ends are actually sharper. Yep, that's it. And should get this one nicely. Yep. Drop that in. See what she's like. So one one in negative, one in positive, obviously. And uh I'm just going to check that as well. See, these are little Allen key grub screws, so I've, I've not them opened enough because this wire is fairly chunky. So now I've put the Allen key somewhere and I don't know where I've put it. Put it somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. I have to, what I, what I think every vapor, hobbyist vapor needs definitely is a good set of uh, Allen drivers you know makes the job a lot easier so i'm gonna they should that should fit in a bit a bit more there come on should be open enough i don't even think they're i'm gonna open them a tight because i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bloody open it and lose it which i don't want to do because right drop that in again I'll take it out. Oh no, it's going down all right. It is going down. And anyway, we don't want it down too far. I'm going to check the legs there. No, they're all right. They're not touching the bottom. Uh, right, so I'm just going to check that with the airflow and see what it's sitting like. And something's not right here. I'm doing something wrong. Uh... What am, I, what's, what am I doing wrong, Joe? What are you doing? Hang on. Goes on like so. Fits on to there. Ah, uh, of course, the lead. Yeah, these actually... Actually, do you know something? These want to be right down. Yeah, I'm forgetting myself with this Azeroth, so I won't do no harm to uh, take another bit off because I can actually show you one of the old coils, or can I, that I took out that were here somewhere. Yeah, look. Yeah, definitely. Cool. I forgot the airflow was so... That's one of the old coils, look. I took out of it. 
you can just see there so the legs are really short so that's good i can use that as a kind of guide so yeah definitely another bit off there definitely and another bit as well for luck and another bit on this side oh that should do for one i might go off camera and put the other four in but i want to show you at least me putting one in you don't want to see me watching, sitting there watching, farting around, putting all of them in, you know. It's a bit boring. So, right. Want them, you want them, basically, you want to push them down so that, basically, the, <laughs> having a job here because it's really chunky wire, this. So, right, that's it down. See that? That's about the... That's where you want your your legs just a little bit sticking up because I've got to pull it in towards the the middle a bit. So I'm going to get me Allen driver, my little T tool, and yeah, the good old screws on this, you know, this little on on the Azeroth to give you good good Allen screws. You know, you can the driver is just just the perfect size for them so and it really tightens them up gets a good old grip on them you know and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go off camera with a cup of tea and a vein now as you can see that's nice and tight that ain't going nowhere as you can see that's one coil in no problem that wasn't too bad took a bit of time though and uh, I, I just forgot how low I actually had to go. So there's one in. You get the... Kind of get it. That's one in. It's not perfect, but we can straighten that off. And I'll see you in a minute. And as if by magic, da-da, free coils. <laughs> but no, I just went off camera there, Vapors, because, you know, there was no point watching me do the same thing, you know, over and over. But that's the free coils in. And as you can see, they're a little bit janky, so going to give them a little straighten up, this little rod. Um, just kind of, just straighten them up, really, that's all. And uh, I have to put them on a mod then. It's probably hot spots, I'd say. So just, yeah, straighten them up. Actually, that first one went in nicely, so I knew what length to cut my legs at, you know. Tightened them all up. Good screws on this, you know, good Allen screw, good Allen grub screws, which is great. And you can see the big, nice, big, deep wells for the cotton, which is good and plenty of room for your juice. So I'm going to put this on a, an atomizer. It's, I'm going to put it on the usual, me trustworthy Geek Vape X. My Jackaroo, Vandy Vape Jackaroo broke down on me the other day, which was a shame. It was one of my favourite mods, but oh well. This is going to be quite low, this build, I'd say. It's asking for a new coil, so new coil, and what is it? Oh yeah, that is low, 0 0.08. I wouldn't usually build that low, but you know, for a build like this, and um, plus it's so it's so it's on a, you know, it's on a it's on a good mod, so there's no danger there. If it was on a Mac mod, you'd need a good old battery, a good 30T battery or something. So I'm gonna pulse these coils at 65 watts because they're fairly chunky. So, oh yeah, something's happening anyway. That's just a bit of residue coming off of. They're actually slightly spaced, so I'm thinking maybe... Ah, oh, no, there's hot spots all right, yeah. Just going to pulse them a little bit. A little bit. I'm going to have to give these a scrape. So I have me ceramic tweezers, what I should be using. So I'm going to give them a little... Have a little mess around with these. There's hot spots on this side. Like a little squeeze. 
This one doesn't seem to want to be heating up. It's the only thing with uh, treble calls and that, you know, hot spots and getting it to the heat distributes evenly, you know, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Get that one there. Now try it again. We just want all three heating evenly. This one's giving me a bit of bother and I can think I can see what the problem is. It's because it's not, uh, yeah. See, the other two are heating up nicely. This just needs a few squeezes and a little, little strum. Little strum on these as well. Aren't hurt. Little strum. Now, uh, I'll for that again, that should be nearly, hopefully, he says. And uh, still this one here, I'm not happy with. Another squeeze. Do you know what? Yeah, like I says, the only thing with uh, them two are perfect, and it's just this one. You know what, I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more, that could be the problem. So, just tighten it up another bit. See, the actual threading is not great on this, it's kind of gone a bit over time, but oh well. We just have to make do with what we have, it's the way it is. I think if anything it's this side it could be a bit bit on the loose side. Right. Ah come out, doesn't want to come out and that's stuck. <laughs> right, give this another tight and if it will let it tighten. Mm, not very well, yeah. This this screw could actually do with replacing, but I'm gonna try it anyway. That should be tighter. Right, see how that goes. 75. You know it's a lot of power because, ah, that's better now, yeah. See that? They're all heating up, yep. They're all heating up nice and even. See that? Yeah, I'm happy with that now. So that one, this one here. By the way, never, never, you know, that's why I was using the ceramic tweezers. As you get used to it, you know, you see people doing that and this with the metal, but never hit the fire button at the same time. So I'm just going to give it one more pulse and pulse and pulse. And yeah, they're heating up fine. So they're ready for a bit of cotton. And um, I was going to use, I got some, I got some of this, yeah any cotton connoisseurs out there, some of this swag. It's okay, you know, it's not it's not what I'm what I'm used to really. I'm tempted to I'm gonna use it, you know, I sod it. Kinda comes in a little bit. It's a, it's a funny old squeaky feel to it, you know, but about half I'm gonna use it, see what it goes like. About half should uh should be enough, I think, for, for, oh, the inner diameter of these, by the way, is three mil, so, I think this length here could be better, that just needs, yeah, I wouldn't be that fussed on this cotton, oh, another thing vapors I got, everyone should have, is a good old pair of scissors, I've got a, Pair of, I don't know, can you see, yeah, Kitchen Devils by Hiskar or something like that. I'm going to cut a bit of this cotton here. And, uh, yeah, it should be, they should be cooled down a little bit by now. So we're going to roll up the ends. And I don't advise doing that. Yeah, they're cooled down. It's meant to be ultra heat resistant, this stuff is anyway, so... Should be able to, we're going to see how this goes. Swag, yeah, it's the first time using it. It's got a funny old feel to it. It's meant to be organic and that, you know, but uh, we'll see what it wicks like and that. Anyway, so that's one done. I'm going to cut it about there, just out. Now you can see it, just, 
hits down at the bottom of the well nicely. Same thing this side. It's going down there nicely. And then use this other bit should, uh, to go through. Get another one out of this. Gonna do this one here. Just move that out of the way. So that's nice and rolled out. Ah, come on, messing about now. Put that through there. That should, come on. It's a little bit too crooked or something. Should come through, there we go. Yeah, it's nice and, that's nice and snug, so I should do. I'm going to pull this right until it's, yeah, that's hitting the bottom of the juice well. So you're going to measure it again at the bottom of the juice well. Give it a good snip. Yeah, these scissors are the dog's bollocks. I tell you, they're really good, better than uh, the other cheap ones you get in the sets and that. Them fold-away ones are useless. Right, I need another bit of this swag, so... It's kind of, yeah, it's a funny old cotton. I, I wouldn't... It's, it's all right. I'm going to see how it performs now. I mean, I wouldn't be that fussed on it, but the feel of it and that, it's very strange compared to... Oh, and I've ordered some uh, Cotton Man cotton from America. I'm going to do a review on that because I don't know whether you have tried it, but there's a fella in uh, Carolina, America. He's a fifth-generation cotton farm, really nice guy called Butch. And uh, yeah, they do vape cotton, so I've sent off for some. A bit on the pricey side, but I tell you what, it's great cotton. Anyway, back to the Azeroth. Yeah, that's the third one wick. So I'm going to do the same again. Press it down to the bottom. Pull it down to the bottom of the well. And snip. Oh, yeah, these... I'll tell you what, a good pair of scissors doesn't half make a good bit of difference. Right. Get some of this rubbish out of the way. All right. So that's it all. I don't think, we don't have to um, fluff this out. I'm just going to, it's quite thick, so I'm going to dog ear it a bit on a couple of the sides. Just take the edges off, you know. It's just a little bit too thick. You don't want to cram them juice rolls up too much. So I just, uh, yeah, just get it like that and kind of, you know, give it a, bit of a haircut as you would do on a on a on a mesh tank or something. I think it's just a little bit too much cotton, you know. Do the same here, give it a little snip. Ah, that that, that looks better actually, that should be okay. Get that out of the way. And then get me trusted tweezers, which I don't know where I've put them down there somewhere. Have a look at that whilst I'm looking for oh no. Oh, that's my ceramic ones. I don't like using them to put cotton in. Ah, here they are. So, right, I'm going to fluff this in. Put this into the juice. Like I said, lovely, nice, generous wicking ports. So, yeah, it should go in no problem. Swag, yeah, it's funny old stuff. Feels funny, you know, than the cotton bacon. I'm so used to cotton bacon. Now, yeah, that cotton's just sitting in there just nicely. Just stuff it into, well, not stuff it into. And always make sure as well you can, you know, you can get your tweezers. Yeah, that's nice. Just give it a poke about a bit. That's nice. That should wick all right. And do the same with these two here. Get a hold of them, tuck them in. Just use my thumb a bit to kind of guide it in, yep. And that's sitting in nicely. Yeah, that's sitting in nicely. Like I said, you don't want it too, too much. That's why I give it a bit of a trim. Yeah, that's done. That's nearly done now. One more side. It's not too much. Gonna pop it into the welder. 
So for a, uh, you know, a triple deck if you want to try, and these are actually, you can get pick up this Azeroth at a very reasonable price now. I think I paid uh, 20 for this, 20 English pounds, so 24 euros or something. Yeah, so yeah, I got it for a good bargain. So that's it. Doesn't look the doesn't look the neatest, but it will work. So yeah, it's the Azeroth. What juice am I gonna put on it now? And give you another look at that wick job. Yeah, that's not a bad wicking job, you know. Yeah, that kind of swag. It's very uh. It's very fluffy, you see the fibres there, you know, it's very kind of, very fibrous kind of, but I'm going to test it out anyway and see how it goes. And I'm going to use some, um, what am I going to use? Oh no, I'm going to use something I like, why not, yeah. And I'm just looking, that's me juices you can hear. Yeah, I'm going to use one of my favourites, actually, of some of this lovely stuff. This Barista Brew Company cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon glazed blueberry scone. Lovely stuff. So, right, give it a good... So we've, we've it coiled up. We've it, all the hot spots out of the coils. I know I went off camera and cheated for couple but I just thought it'd be a bit boring watching me watching me putting in two more you know it's, I showed you how to do ones so doing the other ones is just the same so just giving this a good old I tell you what it's very absorbent this swag stuff it's uh eating up the juice yeah it's eating up the juice so that's good I'm putting plenty on. So you don't have to be shy either because the juice well is nice and deep too. So yeah, splodge it on. Try not to get it over the edge. You can actually tidy up your cotton a bit as well with the tip of your, with the, the nozzle on your top. Yeah, put a little bit more on around the top. That's plenty. Now, I'm going to stick the top on. I'm going to have to look at this airflow. It's really hard to see the old airflow on this, you know. And it's actually quite, it's, it's very stiff to adjust. Now, if you, ah, oh, here we are. Now, there's an easy way to show. Uh, as you can see, ah, uh, yeah, I've only got one hole open. So, I'm going to have to adjust that to... Bloody hell, it's tight. That's not too bad. You're going to have to adjust that to... Now, that's all free open, if you can see that. See there? So I'm going to cut one off. I'm going to cut one off. So you see that? See that, Vapors? Two, two air holes open. should see that little bit of light there, two, yeah, two air holes open, right, and then basically you just position it, put the holes next to your coils, give it a push down, and um, you join me on top for a vape. Oh, vapors, I'm back, that's, uh, that actually quite, come out quite low there, I don't know, about a mech mod for this is 0 0.05 see it's a triple coil you know only four four wraps a piece you know it just shows you have to take care but it's on a regulated mod so as it's three coils i'm gonna go of two decent batteries in there i'm gonna go up to 89 watts and see how she goes Oh yeah, that's nice, nice and flavoursome. Yeah, get that hits you straight away. Mmm. Yeah, not bad. And the airflow, 
actually is quiet. I think it could do with another bit of power. I don't usually vape this high, but I'm gonna go up to 95 watts, yeah? Big 95 watts, but there you go. You need more, the more calls, more wattage, really, you know, I'd lower the arms. Here we go, 95 watts. Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely, it's a, it's a real cloud, Chucky, you know, the Azeroth, but like I said, that's that suits me fine with two holes open, but you can shut it down to tell you what, it gets hot as well, Vapors. Um, that's, uh, I'm going to shut one more hole down. I haven't, I haven't used this in a long time, but I'm telling you, the flavour is banging, you know. With where it's gonna be with three coils. I'm trying to uh I'm trying to I'm gonna have to use a tissue or something here. I'm trying to get it down to three coils. I'll take it off altogether actually and get it down to three holes, tell you what I think. But yeah, definitely a flavoursome so it should be with three coils anyway, right. That's two yeah. That's one hole open. It's, it's hot after them three, but it's not too hot. I can hold it and that, you know. Just, just going to stick a bit more of this blueberry scone on. This is definitely one of my top tens. It's a, it's a lovely liquid, it really is. So I'm going to stick that on with the open hole facing the coil. So then it's, it's the same all round. Um, 95 watts, so oh, here we go. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely more my style of vaping, nice bit of restriction and, oh, the flavour is intense, you know, it really is intense. Mm. Yeah, it's starting to get hot now, you know, but I've never done a single coil in here. I've never done a double coil, so I can't tell you about that. I think it's a triple coil, so sod it, what the hell, you might as well just go for the, for the, for the free coils. But just, you know, be careful if you are using it on a, on a Mac mod, you know, because, uh, 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.05 is quite low, you know. It's only four steps away from to total uh, total vape orgasm, but this is really nice. Yeah, one more hit. Mm. Yeah, it's getting a lot hotter. It's getting a lot, lot warmer with just the one, the one open. But yeah, the Azeroth is good and it's a nice novelty thing to show your mates or to show off, you know. Uh, I, I actually have an old Smok TF, TFV or something, a TFGT it is, but I have the G4 deck and it's actually full, it's like a little carousel, it's full little coils, but... The coils are, are only, you can put in it, are only very small because I usually use 28 gauge wire. So the resistance is usually, you know, it's not too bad. It's not as low as this. But yeah, the Azeroth RDA, try and uh, score yourselves one. They're very cheap, good value, and it's a nice little RDA to have and tinker around with. So that's me, Joe the Village Vapor out. And have one more. That's hot.